Hey everybody, I have to reach over here. I was at the other workstation and decided that I wanted to be sitting for this one. Welcome to the virtual coffee break. I'm Franklin Taggart. This is my coffee. What's left of it? It's getting pretty slim at this point in the day, but I've been up since like 4.30 this morning. It's been a long day. Grab your beverage and let's chat for a minute. Um, I had an interesting uh, kind of exchange the other day about about a, a, a kind of a few things. Yeah, excuse me while I stammer. Um, a few things were kind of bubbling around. One of them was the idea of wasting time. And the other was an idea of... Um, of you know not being productive now the thing that's really interesting to me is like ooh, time wasting is such an interesting concept um time just by itself when you think about it it's kind of vaporous and i know that you know we have a certain we have a certain span of days here that that we're here and we measure that and call it time. But the thing that's really interesting to me is like, it's, it's hard for me to, to think about what wasting time actually looks like. And the reason that I say that is because even when it looks like I'm not being productive, there are things going on that lead to product pro productivity down the road. Um, like ideas come when I am not actively working on something. There's space for imagination to roam. There's, you know, even when I'm watching a, a silly show on television, there's room for my imagination to work. Now, the thing that I think is really important to think about is apathy is, is a state that I don't want to live in. And yet I know that many people who reach the end of their lives go into kind of a state of apathy. Their will to live is actually starting to ebb out of them. Uh, I've seen it with a couple of people close by in my life. And the apathy is the thing that I would rather avoid than, than thinking about wasting time. And the only reason, again, that I say that is because so much of my downtime is is when my imagination just fires up and it's not wasted at all. It's like totally inspiring and it's motivating and it's, it's really important. It's like I was driving home from the airport today and, um, you know, it's about an hour drive uh, to the Denver airport from where we live. And I was driving home, um, after dropping my son off at the airport, and it was like all the way down there. He had his headphones in. He's a teenager, you know. He had his headphones in listening to music. And I usually have a podcast on. But today I decided just to not have any sound going on. And to just be present as I was driving. And, you know, be watching the road. And be enjoying the sunrise as it happened because we were driving right into the sunrise and it was just absolutely beautiful. Um, that's one of the things that I love about driving to the Denver airport in the morning is that you're going right into the sunrise and it's just a gorgeous thing. But one of the things that was really interesting was as I was driving, it was like my mind just had full freedom to go wherever it wanted to go. And um, I had a I had a few ideas that were just very compelling and interesting. And as I, you know, after I dropped my son off at the airport, I drove home and those ideas continued to, to bloom and blossom and, you know, foment. <laughs> that wasn't wasted time at all. And yet I could have looked at that as wasted time in that I wasn't actually making something in that moment. But those ideas are going to turn into things that I make, some of them anyway. So I, I, I think it's important to, to 
give yourself some grace when you have days that you're not actually putting, um, you know, words to music and pen to paper and brush to canvas or whatever it is that you're doing to create. Because you, you do need to have that space for your imagination to, uh, to activate. That's not wasted time at all. The second thing that I think is really important to understand is that if you feel like that you're not being productive, I think it's important, you know, in, in those kinds of moments, do one thing that you can do. I know for me that a lot of times it's just an energy thing. It's like, I'm really, I'm really tired. Um, I don't feel like that I can focus for very long. And I just don't have it to sit down and do a big project or do like a 90 minute block of anything. But what's really interesting is that most of the time I can find one person. Sometimes I'll just open up my Facebook feed or my Instagram or LinkedIn and I'll look for one person that I can offer any kind of, I don't know, any kind of message to, and I'll just send them a message real quick. Sometimes it's like, Hey, I just noticed that, you know, you did that podcast episode with this person and I really enjoyed it. And I just wanted to let you know, if, if I am spending my time doing those kinds of things, even if it's just once a day for one minute a day, I'm still doing something that is beneficial for me. It's beneficial for other people. It's beneficial for my business. It's beneficial for my creativity. It's just that one thing. And it doesn't have to be more than that on those days when you can't muster much more than that. Now I'm talking specifically here to people who are like me, they deal with, you know, things like autoimmune issues or, um, I have a client who has lupus and chronic fatigue and, you know, sometimes he will go a week and not, not write anything. But in that week, one of the things that we've done is we've looked at what's one thing that you can do in the morning and one thing that you can do in the afternoon that helps keep you connected with your, with your people and it builds goodwill. It, it, it delivers some kind of value, whether that value is relational or whether that value, you know, has some kind of a transaction attached to it. And what's really interesting is that when he breaks it down like that, it's doable. And very often what happens is that one thing will lead to another thing, which will lead to another thing, which will lead to another thing. And by the time it's all said and done, he's actually done, you know, 15 things that day that were very positive for his, uh, for his creative output, for his business, for his visibility, building goodwill, you know? So if you are a person like me who sometimes has energy challenges, see if you can just find one thing one small thing that you can do, find that one person online that you can just drop an email to and say, I was thinking about you, just wondering how you're doing. And, um, wanted to share this one thing with you, <laughs> whatever it is, right? That's all it has to be on those days when it just feels like it's too much. So instead of thinking that you have to sit down and, and paint a whole picture, or write a whole song or write 10,000 words. Well, just pick that one person and send something their way. That's going to make a positive difference in their day. And that is enough, right? So those are my thoughts for today. I hope y'all are doing well out there. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday here in Colorado. It's about, 65 degrees right now. It's just starting to be kind of early evening. My favorite time of year during the springtime, um, when the 
when the sun sunlight is kind of golden this time of day. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. So keep doing what you do. And I will be back with another coffee break tomorrow. Have a good one, and thanks for spending this time with me.